Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video we're going to have a look at the lock screen changes on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now the screen by default looks pretty much like this. You have the clock here on top, you have the date, you have uh, some weather information, you have your operator here in the corner and you have a camera um, shortcut. Uh, if you want to unlock the, unlock the screen you just have to swipe over the screen and it goes directly to your, uh, your home screen. You can, also, you can also access the notifications panels from this particular instance and you can swipe up the camera and it will launch the camera app. But of course you can go ahead and tweak all this. Uh, for that you, okay, you need to go to the settings. Go to the settings, go to the device tab, to the device tab and from here you have lock screen. And um, in here you have a bunch of dip different options. First of all, there are the screen locking types. You have this standard swipe, um, swipe locking. And for this one, you have some unlock effects. Uh, we've been using the popping color effect, but you can also change them. And for instance, I've chose a different one, the rock ripple or something like this. It works like this. Uh, personally, I uh, like uh, the uh, this popping colors effect more because it's actually um, quite fast. Okay, what else do we have here? You have the standard pattern, pin and password security modes, but you have two different modes. You have the two new modes. You have the fingerprint mode, with uh, which of course lets you act, um, unlock the phone by using your fingerprint. And uh, the interface looks a little bit different in this case. You have the emergency call and you can add a couple of uh, a couple of numbers in here you have the uh, ability to enter an alternative password this alternative password you it's going to be set up when you'll uh, enter your uh, your fingerprint and then you can of course unlock it using your fingerprint uh, it's worth notice uh, noting that um, this device can uh, remember up to three different fingerprints, three different fingerprints, and it doesn't work like the Touch ID. You don't you don't just have to put your finger over the sensor and wait. You have to actually swipe your finger over this home button. Okay, how do you add another fingerprint? Where well, you need to go to general, and in here, uh, uh, okay, it's not general it's device and in here down at the bottom you have the finger scanner and you have the fingerprint manager you need to access this fingerprint manager and you can add up to three fingerprints and how does it work you just have to swipe your finger over the sensor several times like this okay Okay, there we go. So now we have three different fingerprints. Uh, if I want to deregister one of them, I can just select it, press delete. It goes out like this. And uh, when you want to change the unlock screen mode, you can go ahead on lock screen again, screen lock. And if you want to change it, you have to enter that alternative password. If I remember it correctly, it's the This one okay and now you can go ahead and just uh, select swipe uh, what else do we have in here we have the dual clock option you can select two different clocks one for a home city and one for a different city if you're traveling or anything like this you have the clock size you can have it small normal normal or large you have the option to show the date or not to show the camera shortcut or not uh, you can add some owner information blah 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 here like this uh, the unlock effect that I've already showed you and uh, some additional information you can uh, display the weather and uh, your pedometer stats in uh, the lock screen and uh, you also have uh, a help text that can be displayed on the lock screen okay and uh, this is how it looks uh, the clock uh, the date of course uh, the user information the weather and all these other goodies. Now, I couldn't find how you can activate uh, camera short, uh, no camera, um, widgets, lock screen widgets. Uh, usually with Android KitKat, uh, these uh, are uh, disabled. 
by default, but you can go under general in security and have a, a, the option to activate uh, lock screen widgets. I wasn't able to find uh, that option here on uh, the Galaxy S5. It might be there, but I just couldn't find it. So if you know how to activate those, let me know in the comments down below. And I also um, don't know how to activate uh, those uh, shortcuts. There were some uh, app shortcuts here on the bottom on previous um, TouchWiz iterations. Again, I wasn't able to find those on uh, the Galaxy S5. Let me just double check, but usually they were in here. If you activated the, let's say the pattern lock, and let's say we're using this one. Okay. I, I would have some uh, uh, some uh, shortcut uh, widgets in here, some app shortcuts for the lock screen, but uh, I don't have the option. So maybe they just uh, decided not to integrate those on this device. Uh, what else? Well, I should show you the music player because it uh, nicely integrates with. Um, it nicely integrates with the lock screen. Let's go ahead and turn on music. Okay, tracks, this track. And on the lock screen you have full album cover and you have these controls here. You can pause it, you can swipe, and uh, you can uh, access a particular part of the song if you want to and uh, then you can just go ahead and unlock the screen like this. Okay, so those are basically the things I wanted to show you about the lock screen on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, if you have any questions or anything to add, make sure to leave your comments down below. And uh, if you're interested in more details on the Galaxy S5, I also have a bunch of other clips uh, on my channel, so you might want to check them out. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe if you like what we're doing here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.